to me doing a reaction thing to Castlevania. Today's episode 9 of season 4, aka episode 31. And wow, uh, the title of the episode is called The Endings. And that's fitting because more likely today is the ending of the show. And I'll dare expect uh, episode 10 to leave things kind of open-ended in a sense of like an epilogue and, you know, give us that foreshadowing that Dracula is not really, you know, dead or gone. Maybe he's back or whatever. But anyway, so as far as today's episode, it's probably going to be concentrating on this big fight of stopping these uh, hordes of demons and vampires coming into Dracula's castle and then you have Alucard and uh, Trevor and Silpha teaming up again. Ooh, that's gonna be fun to watch. Uh, Alucard's got homies. He's actually got friends over, you know, for once. <laughs> Sorry, without further ado, let's do it, baby. Let's do the uh, episode, do the reaction. I'm gonna slicey dice you. Oh, all of them jump at the same time. Oh, what an entrance. Oh, it's the Justice League. <laughs> oh, that's epic. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I either I forgot or didn't, didn't really recall that he turns into a wolf. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. That is so cool. She is a beast, man. Yo, she is so underrated in this show. What the hell is that? Is that Fat Thor? Oh, he is nice, though. She is amazing. Wow. 
Wow. Uh, <laughs> there's a poop. I don't know why that fu I found that funny, but it I did. Half human, half woman. Oh, what? No way. Dude, I love the fact that he has a skull crown. Oh my god. Oh, it is done. It is done. No way. Oh wow. This is starting to feel like a video game. Here's like mini bosses. Oh wow. This like totally reminds me of the video game because of the the clock tower kind of aesthetics of climbing up the a building and stuff. Damn, he is getting triple team. Like losing all his armor. Whoa, is it gonna pierce him? Wow. <laughs> Did he really just go, ah! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he's bringing. He's bringing him. Oh, they're here. Wait, so both their souls are there. Holy shit. It's so beautiful. What? I just don't understand that though. So, oh uh, yeah, now you think about what you've done, you idiot. <coughs> Oh, there's the holy water. Oh, well, he's dead. Oh, he ate the key. Holy fuck, my guy. Whoa. Does he think he's going to die? Is that why he said that? Whoa. So is Trevor going to die? Is he gonna die? I mean, he is fighting death itself. Oh man. I like how he took one little slot and he's he's down. Whoa! There you go, burn him alive. Well, burn him to death, I guess. I don't know. Oh, what is... Yeah, what was... What does that blade do?
Oh, you're done. Wow. Wow, there was a man under death. That's cool. Wow, what a way to go. Uh, it, it's ironic because this reminds me of one of the Castlevania games. I think it's either Castlevania 3. Uh, I haven't really done any research on this show or the video games or how they tie in together. But um, I, I don't... I don't really remember what happens to Trevor or uh, Alucard or Sofa or whatnot. I really don't know the history of Castlevania. Uh, as a kid growing up, uh, I knew of Castlevania. I played some of the Castlevania games, but not as much as I could have. I probably almost neg neglected it. Uh, and almost on purpose, honestly. But they were always around, you know. I remember trying to play the the Lament of Innocence on PS2, and there was Curse of Darkness. I remember trying to play Castlevania 64. There was like two of them there. They're, they're, those games were awful. But I remember the PS1 games. I just I kind of ignored them. I never really played Symphony of the Night. Uh, and then there was another one on PS1. I think it was called Chronicles. But I do remember playing the, uh, the the Nintendo ones and the Super Nintendo uh, Castlevanias, and I do remember playing uh, some of the Game Boy ones as well. But if you if I'm supposed to, am I supposed to tie in all the characters that I play? I, I just don't know. But anyway, I really don't know what's gonna happen to Trevor. I really don't know. I don't know if he's dead and that's it. And and maybe this is the goodbye of the character, and that's why he said that he loves Sifa. And I, I'm going to dare assume that she is pregnant. And this is how the Belmont line continues with her. And um, he pretty much just said, please don't name our kid that terrible name. <laughs> uh, that was cool to see Death uh, incarnate uh, himself. Um, it was cool to see kind of like the first rebirth of Dracula. Uh, it was cool to see the team up of Alucard, Trevor, and Sifa. And the whole episode was just Beautifully animated, beautifully action-packed. It just, I know for sure for the, like the next five years, we're definitely going to see a lot of like, um, you know, GIF moments here of, of a lot of like anime vibe clips. So I'm, I'm definitely going to be looking up some cool lo-fi anime music uh, to vibe to, and they're going to use a lot of clips from this episode. Now, there's only one more episode to go, and... Um, I feel like it's just going to be a sort of apologue of the future of not necessarily the show, but its context. Like, hey, what is Alucard going to do? Oh, look, he's going to settle down with that girl that we met. I think was her name, Greta. And then Sifa's probably going to be pregnant. So now we know, hey, the Belmont line's going. And then, hey, look, Lenore, Hector, Isaac are still around. So is Morgana, Striga, right? Uh, I'm sure there's still other vampire lords out there, so uh, I'm pretty sure there's still going to be some remnants of people pushing that legacy forward of, hey, we gotta bring back Dracula and this and that, and I'll save my opinions on the next video, but man, it just, this makes me want to play the video game so much more, but what the hell is Konami doing with the games? They're not doing anything with the game, so, sure. <laughs> Anyway, that about ends my video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.